what does power look like when it is no longer rooted in a forced force-based cosmology? What does power look like when it's rooted in the understanding of emergence uh, uh, and the understanding of an, an all permeating intelligence that is in all things in this material world? Um, in that case, you don't have to force change to happen. You don't have to force beauty upon the world. Instead, you can occupy a different kind of power, which is the power of participating in the unfolding of the, the, the beauty that is inherent in reality. Uh, I draw a lot from complexity theory here, where order emerges out of chaos, where beauty emerges out of the interplay of basic elements that, that wasn't designed into it consciously, but it's just an innate property of matter. So if we understand that that life and, and matter trend toward beauty, order, and complexity, and toward more life, and we can see this in the history of the Earth, it's becoming more and more and more alive over billions of years. When we understand that, then we don't have to be in charge of making everything happen. But instead, we can start uh, by listening, by observing, by asking, how can I contribute to this unfolding? And as part of that, what we can, it's not that we create it, but what we become agents of the creation of is something far beyond what a separate self can do with any amount of force.